Hey everybody, and welcome back to BK's Bullets, back with another video. Wow, that, uh, not even Batman Gotham Knights. It is called Just Gotham Knights. So, I think that is so cool, and it proves... I don't know if it proves... It, we'll, we will see if this game sells, honestly. We will see if this, if this game sells. I'm not saying that as a, as a pessimist or anything else. You know, I want this game to succeed. Um... I think it looks fantastic. You're treading on all the stuff that's already been set up, the design language. Everything is there for them to to use as much as possible from the Batman Arkham games and the game that uh, WB Montreal previously put out, which was Batman Arkham Origins. But I'm saying that we'll see if this sells because it's not a Batman game. There's no Batman in the title. It's not called Batman Gotham Knights. There is no Batman in this game so far as we know, right? It's just Gotham Knights. We're focusing on uh, Nightwing, Red Hood, Batgirl, and Robin. And all the costumes that I saw looked like they were treading on previously. Like the Nightwing costume looks really similar to what he was wearing in Arkham Knight. The Robin costume was a little bit different. You know, he looks like he's wearing like a ra Robin raincoat, which is weird. So you're losing the cape. Um, Batgirl starts out in the Batgirl of Burnside with a purple outfit. But it looks like there's some customization in this game, which is cool because you can change her into the more Arkham Knight uh, inspired. If you were playing that DLC, she had this like black and gold outfit and this looked like blue and gold or blue and yellow, which I really, really liked. The Burnside's outfit never really, you know, I, I, I thought it was nice. I thought it was cute. It worked for the artist who designed it, but um, I don't think it works in a realistic design setting uh, with other, the other artists that are doing it in the same way that, you know, in this game, it might not gel with everything else. So I'm glad you can go to like a regular Batgirl outfit. That's cool. But this game looks cool. It looks like there's an online co-op mode where you can get another hero to jump in with you and take on your missions. It, I don't know if it's open world. It kind of, it's, it's got to be open world, right? Like every other Batman game has been so far, or Arkham Knight was. Um, you know, teaming up against the boss fight looks cool. The Court of Owls is obviously here that weren't the main focus of the trailer. They were like a little tease at the end. But apparently this game is Batmanless. You're playing as all the other heroes with different styles of fighting. I'm sure they all play differently. Um... Batgirl might be closer to Batman, just maybe a little weaker. Red Hood's focused on his gunplay and, and kicking and stuff. Nightwing is all about the acrobatics. You know, Robin, we didn't see much gameplay from him, or maybe we did. Um, I can't remember. I was just excited for it. I, I think it looks cool. I can't wait to play this game. This comes out in 2021, sometime next year. We don't know if that's spring or fall. At this point, with all the COVID stuff, who knows when anything's going to come out. But I, for one, am excited to play this game. I think it's really easy just to make a Batman game with the foundation that's been set up from the Arkham games. All the technology is there, the fight system, the style. Everybody, you know, uses it anyway. Why aren't you pumping out a new Batman game every three to four years? It's just silly to me that we have had to wait five or six years now. So that's kind of absurd to me. So I am very, very happy that we're going to get a new Batman themed game. I'm excited to play with all these characters. I think it looks really cool. Um, you know, that's cool. They had gameplay in a trailer and, and what else can you ask for? So hopefully we will hear more about it and uh, as the year progresses and we will see you guys next time with our next reaction in the funny pages.